Bryce and Bain came into this world together on March 3rd, 2011. They appeared to be perfectly healthy on the outside, but soon after they came home, it became apparent something inside wasn't right. They, they had um, hernias, they have pulmonary issues, they had ear infections. He had a stroke in November, his lung collapsed. Today, at just 10 months old, the Hearst boys are in a battle together. <laughs> fighting Hurler syndrome. It's a rare genetic disease. Basically, the boys do not make an enzyme that helps break down long chains of sugar molecules. They will always have um, orthopedic surgeries probably every two years. Yeah. They'll always look coarse features. A little, they which call it are coarse like, features. Like larger features, kind of. It was tough. It was really tough. That's because every day is an incredible challenge. We have to flush their lines twice a day now. So that was a good run. That was a, good that was a very good run. There are daily meds. Bain is fed through a feeding tube due to his stroke, and both boys get weekly enzyme therapy. Without treatment, the twins will be lucky to celebrate their fifth birthday. They need a bone marrow transplant, and the University of Minnesota has accepted them into their six-month clinical trial. It's not a cure. Yeah, it, um, there is no cure. Basically, the, um, the bone marrow transplant will let their body start producing the enzyme that they're missing, okay. um, and that can get to every part of their body except for their bones. Um, but um, the, there's a lot of aspects of it that we'll just always have to deal with. They're staying optimistic, leaning on a tremendous support system. Their families and community have kept them strong. It's been a lot. And we're not supposed to cry. <laughs> they know it's going to be an emotional journey, but remain focused on their goal, to stay together as a family for a very long time. They've had kids who have, like, have had like four transplants just until one takes. Our hopes are to hit it on the first try and come back here with all six of us. Tracy McCool, Fox 8 News.